Hi, this is Ben from EasySoccerVideo.com. If you rented a camera from us, these are the steps you should go through once the camera arrives so that you are ready to record your soccer matches. So this is the case that is going to come in. Um, leave it in this case whenever you're not recording. It's a good carrying case. It protects it. Um, so this is the unit itself. A few things about the camera to keep it in good order. Um, do not... Uh, you don't want to scratch or smudge the lenses, so don't touch them with your fingers, don't scratch them, because if you impact the lenses, then um, it'll be harder for you to get good uh, recording of your soccer games. So first, the lenses. Second thing is um, do not take this plate off, so don't unscrew it. You don't need to take it off. It'll snap into the plate. We'll show you in a second. So um, if you take it off, you may have a really hard time, or you may not be able to get it back on, which means you won't be able to attach it to your tripod and won't be able to record. And then the third thing is just obviously don't don't drop it because it's you know it has cameras and electronics in it so um, you want don't want to drop it um, so those things should help keep it in good working order so the first thing that you want to do when you get the camera is you want to um, take out the charger and you want to plug it in so I, I'll show you here um, on the back is the ports so. Um, you want to go ahead and plug in the power cord here and then plug it into the wall because you want to make sure that um, it's charged up. So the red light means that it's not fully charged. And so once it's actually fully charged, that will turn green. So the first thing you want to do is charge. You can never charge it too much because it's better to have um, battery. You don't want it to die when you're out on the field. Uh, let's see here. So the other thing that comes um, in, the, in, the, in the case is the, is the tripod mount. So um, the tri your tripod will thread into the bottom of this um, here. And it, depending, and it also comes with an adapter. So depending on which tripod you have, you may or may not need this adapter. If you don't need it, depending on the size, if you need, this, uh, if you, if you need it, leave, just leave it in. If you don't need it, take it out and just drop it in there. It may, or maybe that size or maybe uh, something like this. So that's just to help you get the right thread size for the bottom. For the, uh, to thread your tripod into. Um, the way that works on the bottom of this is this plate simply, this front part here, you put into the underneath this lip of this, and then you push the bat up bottom and it just snaps in. And so then this part right here is gonna screw into the your tripod. Um, so you wanna keep, you wanna make sure and keep, uh, you wanna make sure and keep this in your case because you don't wanna not have that and not be able to record when you get to a game. Once you um, have your camera charging is actually present, hold this in, that will turn it on. Now what you'll see here is you'll see this flashing, this light over here will start flashing as it's kind of starting up. And that means that it's in kind of initializing. And the way you're gonna connect to it is on your camera, you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi. Now you'll notice here, let's see here, uh, you don't see the camera yet in the view because it's still kind of starting up. So like when you're at the field, this is what you'll do. You'll turn your camera and you'll wait for the uh, the camera to show up in here in your Wi-Fi. Okay, so it's green, so now it should show up. It usually takes like 30 to 60 seconds to appear. So there you have it. It shows up. You tap. Now, I'm gonna get auto join because I've already connected to it, but it's gonna prompt you for a password. On the bottom of the camera, there's a password, and you just type that in when it asks you to join the, the Wi Fi network, and you will be able to join. Now, then what you wanna do is you want to come to the cam.vo.co, um, and actually, what it's gonna tell you is please unplug. To start recording. So since we're since we're powered up, it can't actually record when you're powered up. So at this point, um, go ahead and unplug it. Okay, power disconnected. Starting. Okay, preview. So this is the preview. So you'll see here. All you can see is in the, the case, but this is like the left camera, and this is the right camera. So um, this is what it sees. And then go ahead and hit start here. That's going to start recording. Now you'll see this flashing green light, that means that it's actually recording. Now, um, just one note, when you're at the field, um, once you started recording it, 
if for any reason, um, like you can't connect or if you come back to the screen and that button isn't red anymore, don't panic. As long as you've started the recording and this green light is flashing, that means the recording is in progress. So um, actually, once you start the recording, even, even if you were to just say like lose your phone or forget it or something, the recording is, is happening. And so um, there's two ways to stop the recording. One is if you have your phone and, and uh, you can stop it here. Um, the other way is you can actually just press and hold in the power button and that will let the camera know to stop recording and um, eventually it will shut off. So you can either, like I said, stop it with your phone or you can press and hold the power and that will that will turn it off. Now that and your recording. Now the one difference will be when you hit stop here, I'll show you, you can give it a name. When you power it off with a here, you can't name it, but that's not a big deal. Actually, I'll show you here, I'll stop it. And then just go ahead. So you should do this at home to make sure it all works. Just go through it so you understand it. And you give it, you can just say test cam or whatever you want to call it. And then say, Save recording data. Okay, so now it's done. So then what you wanna do is you want to then press and hold this button in, and this is going to power it off. See, it's flashing red. Once it's done, um, it'll turn off. And you wanna do this because, especially if you have multiple games in one day, you don't wanna leave this on and run the battery down. And then once you turn it off, you won't be able to see the preview anymore. Depending on the model you have, if you have this model, it looks more like this. The one difference is that the, the, those ports aren't on the back like this, they're on the bottom. So if you have this one, um, it's the same kind of idea, but here's the power, I mean the power plug and the Ethernet we'll talk about in a minute. And this is the, uh, the on and off button. So same principle, it's just a different spot. So once you get home, you're going to want to plug in the camera. And then you're going to want to take your Ethernet cable, plug it into the back of the camera. And then make sure it snaps. There you go, snap. And then and then go ahead and turn the camera on. Press and hold the power. And then you're gonna to want to plug the other end of this into the back of your router. And now you'll see here. Well, this is actually gonna take a while. Um, and it'll actually it says yeah we lost a Wi-Fi connection. So, um, so once you get home, you plug this in and you can see how here it's, I don't know if you can see that flashing green light. That means that it's actually starting to upload. So then what you want to do is you want to come back to Wi-Fi. You want to connect to the camera. Give it a second um, to show up in your list. Um, so if you go to cam.vo.co in your browser and you can't see the camera, that means it's not connected here on Wi-Fi. So, okay, so go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi. Okay, so now you can come to here, and the way that you can check on this, so you can see the preview again here, but if you click this button here, bottom left, oh, that's not good, connect this button here, then it will show you all the recordings that are on your camera. So it's loading it up now here. Oh, here we go. And so what it's doing, it, can t it tells you the percentage that it's uploading it. This flashing green light here means that it's uploading from your camera into the portal um, and so it tells you so if you recorded multiple games it all show up here um, and so this is how you know when it's done so as soon as you get home like I said plug in the battery plug in the upload and you can keep an eye on the upload progress um, here and you can see when and once once it's done it'll let you know 100% and then move on to the next games and it'll list all your games here so keep this plugged in all night basically let this um, for, if you have a bunch of games, it's going to take a while for them to upload. So just keep the make sure you have the power plugged in. Because what you don't want is you don't want to forget to plug it in and have it be uploading in the middle of the night and have the power die. That's happened to me before. So the first thing you want to do is plug the power in and then plug that in. You can keep eyeing the progress here. Um, that's pretty much it. So the next day, oh, and then also I'll, I'll show you here. You can check in the settings in this bottom right. This tells you how much battery is left. Um, and it tells you how much space is available. And you can access this when you're out in the field to see how your battery's doing and how much space is left. Um, so that's about it. That, and that, that will... So make sure you do all, all of this right when you get it to make sure you understand how it works. Um, and then once you're done with this step, then I would go ahead and take 
make sure you know how to attach this to, to your tripod. Um, don't wait until right before the game to do this. Do it as soon as you get it. Oh, and if you have any questions, just let us know. So that should cover it. Um, have fun recording your games.